This is it. The final destination. Her haunt. <laughs> is that supposed to tear us, Tiamat? There's magic lingering on the gate. Mechanism. It's turning. The scent of danger. Focus! This is our ultimate showdown with Tiamat. We've come for you, Dragon Queen. Focus on attacking from one side! have indulged thee far too long, child of chaos. Know your place, impudent whelp. The child of chaos has fallen. On the day the Mother of Dragons claimed victory, devotees of the Dragon God praised rapturously and rejoiced in the transgressor's demise. As for the truth of the revolt, it was gradually entombed in the River of Time. Twelve hundred years later, in the desolation of the world beyond, another tale brought about by those events is set to unfold.
Open your eyes, newcomer. Who's here? The one we've long awaited is here at last. All that's missing is you, and then our glorious endeavor shall be complete. Come, come hither, come to me. Wait a moment. He's lying to you. Follow me. No, no. You're making a mistake. Hurry now. We mustn't let him claim you. This way. The Unstill are up to something they ought to be. You shall be their final. Don't bother trying to flee! Meaningless 
defiance. The time has come. Over the past 1,200 years, we've already sacrificed 999 offerings to Master. One more, and our Master shall be revived. And that would be you, the 1,000th offering. Suddenly, something restrains your entire body, rendering you immobile. In an instant, your vision is consumed by darkness. Release our master from the Dragon Queen's clutches without delay. By then, not only shall this Chaos Universum be back in our hands, but the entire world! Darkness engulfs your vision once more. Wake up. Someone seems to be calling you. Hey, wake up. Are you still alive? You're still sane. But I saw you be captured and offered as a sacrifice with my very own eyes. Don't be nervous, newcomer. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm Notira, the fairy woman of this corner of the Chaos Universum. Newcomers who arrive here without a guide are easy prey for the bewildered and the unstill, like you. Anyway, congratulations on your survival. The unstill. Beings neither living nor dead. They need a thousand intact souls to revive their master. As for the master, he's the fabled child of chaos. The source of all chaos and catastrophes in this world. Now that the ritual has been completed, and the Child of Chaos revived, I can't seem to shake off this ominous feeling. It's... personal. I had no intention of coming here during the sacrifice. But there's someone I care about deeply, who hasn't been back since her last departure from Fogtown. She used to be a fairy woman like me helping to guide newcomers here. Neither of us had any desire to be confined to one location, even in the Chaos Universum. But now, I'm worried. Worried she's become a bewildered, just like the others, us. That is to say, what will eventually become of us? All creatures exiled to the Chaos Universum have been condemned by the Dragon Queen. This place is a rift beyond the World of Order wherein quietum from the Outlands relentlessly afflicts our souls. Ultimately, we'll all be tormented into becoming a hollow husk, shambling around, following instincts, unable to live, with no way to die. In any event, if you want to stay lucid, it's best you keep your distance from them lest they make you the main course. Most of the exiles converge in a place called Fogtown. A magic barrier has been raised to protect the Mistlands from the Bewildered. So we should head there for the time being. But what happened to you? You still have your wits even after being offered as a sacrifice. I've never witnessed anything like this. Just who were you before you were banished here? Who are you? It suddenly dawns on you that you've never thought about that. You desperately reach for memories, but there's nothing. 
You know nothing about yourself. No memory? Hmm. Queer indeed. Perhaps the sacrifice deprived you of it? As well as... well... your body. You're looking a little worse for wear. Anyway, come, return to Fogtown with me. You're looking a little worse. Anyway, come, return to Fog. A sound decision? It appears memory loss hasn't entirely robbed you of your sanity. Let's go. We must first head west to Nocturne Port. My ferry is moored there. We can sail to the Floating Isle. The sight of the Mistlands. I'm tired of the same old scenery. Yes, this is the place. We can get to Mistlands by taking that ferry. Don't fret, I still remember how to sail. Well then, you ready to go? Very well. Sit tight and don't fall off. going on. The barrier should have kept the bewildered out. Anyway, let's prepare for battle first. Oh, yes. If you're wounded, you can use the tonic potion you just picked up to heal yourself while you prepare for battle. the time. Leave it to me. It's high time I displayed my art of assassination. Don't bother trying to hide. Damn it. Those bewildered shouldn't even be here. Is it possible that the barrier in the Mistlands was... <clears throat> Drat. That pack of bewildered just wounded me. The magic of those unstill is still affecting me. It's nothing serious. Return to Fogtown. Hexandra will know what to do. If she's still there. Fogtown's principal caretaker. If all is as it should be, she ought to be in the Hall of Whispers. Ah, a new face. 
Unfortunately, I've no time for you right now, I'm afraid. Ah, a new face. We? Oui. Ah, Notira. You've been away for so long. I've been waylaid by a few matters. You don't look too well. Yes, I can see that. I see. While the Mistlands barrier is in imminent danger, there's precious little I can do right now. But I'll start by healing Notera. As for you, newcomer... Oh, your condition isn't to be scoffed at either. Do you know your soul is incomplete? Meaning it's a miracle you are even walking. <sighs> huh. South of the Mistlands lies a camp. We can heal Notira there. I'll head over there and make provision. We'll reconvene there. Come with me. This camp is one of the places we use for crafting supplies. You can always return here for a break, too. Give me a hand with the preparation. These techniques will benefit you. No problem, then. I imagine you've got plenty of questions, newcomer. This is the place where the Exiles are banished. As you know, we are all sinners in the eyes of the Dragon Queen. Once you're cast out here, there's no way you can leave. So, in this boundless barren wilderness, we can only try our best to preserve a patch of land as a temporary settlement. We've always used magic barriers to defend this floating isle from the invasion of the bewildered and chaotic turbulence. But that barrier has been broken. Just a moment ago, I sense that a formidable power has disrupted the balance of the entire space. I hope it isn't what I fear the most. Hmm... You're a curious newcomer, aren't you? To put it simply, the Great Dragon Queen prefers each creature to exist in their rightful place. Humans living in the material plane ought to fix their sights on the land beneath their feet, and not pry into other realms. During my youth, my curiosity clouded my judgment, and I endeavored to discover knowledge beyond the plane. But my actions were obviously too impertinent for the Dragon Queen to ignore. And... that's how I ended up here. Oh, right. It's about time we talked about this. Tell me, what happened to you? 
You and Notira tell Exandra the full story about the sacrificial ritual. So what you're saying is, you were used as a sacrifice to complete the ritual, yet somehow survived? How? How is that possible? I'd also rather like to know what's going on. But what is certainly clear is that your soul looks terribly damaged. Like it was torn from you, alive. You can't carry on like this much longer. And if what you say is true, it really couldn't be any worse. Not only you, but the entire Chaos Universum may be facing annihilation. The entire Chaos Universum just felt that tremor. And coupled with the words the Unstill speak, the Child of Chaos and the Unstill, their vengeance is at hand. Think of it as the root of all chaos. For a myriad of centuries after the world's creation, no one dared challenge the Dragon God's reign. Not until the Child of Chaos appeared out of the blue centuries ago, inciting a worldwide rebellion. Supposedly, countless dragon deities perished because of it. The Dragon God was traumatized beyond compare, and world order was... But ultimately, the rebellion failed. Twelve hundred years ago, the Dragon Queen personally exiled the Child of Chaos and imprisoned him here. Now that the Child of Chaos has reawakened, I dare not... Even with the Child of Chaos roused, the Dragon Queen's confines aren't so easily broken. Only with the help of others is it feasible. The Unstill are surely coming together, trying to find a way to free the Child of Chaos from captivity. If they succeed, they will undoubtedly attempt to start a new war and seek revenge against not just the Dragon Queen, but also the entire world. When that happens, we wretched lot banished here will be swallowed up by the tremendous chaotic turbulence. Nobody will escape from it. Hmm. That's the other big question, isn't it? But perhaps in truth, all of this leads to the same final destination. Your soul was sacrificed to the Child of Chaos during the ritual. Meaning that the missing piece can only be in one place. Within the Child of Chaos. Not just you. Us. What? Are you crazy, Hexandra? What other choice do we have to survive? We must prevent the Unstill from freeing the Child of Chaos from captivity. And if you wish to restore your soul to wholeness, you must retrieve its missing piece from the Child of Chaos. We might be mere crawlers to them, but even crawlers have the right to live. Of course, the decision is yours to make. <sighs> All right, I'll join you. I always knew you weren't the sort to stay rooted to one spot, Notira. What about you, newcomer? Ready to reclaim your soul? Great. I knew I was right about you, but there's still one problem at hand. If we want to stop the Unstill, we have to travel to the Unstill Realm on a different floating isle. Unfortunately, given that those Unstills have never thought us worthy of their company, the magic of the Unstill has always been a mystery to us. So even I am unable to comprehend it. But perhaps there's someone from Fogtown who does. To my knowledge, among the Exiles are those who have been in constant enmity with the Unstill. They possessed a heightened understanding of the archaic powers the Unstill wield. Looks like we have to visit Fogtown. I'll go with you too. In that precious instant, exiled between life and death, I saw so much more.
shall spare no effort. of your intent, rebels. Come, come to me. I am Isitarian, once a priest in the service to the Mother of Dragons. I shall guide you on your way. Indeed, the Dragon Queen's minions are much more observant than you mortals and all the signs have manifested, meaning the time is finally at hand. The Child of Chaos has already arisen, and if we don't intervene now, we may not have another chance. I don't want to put the Dragon Queen's snout out of joint either. Like their master, the Unstill have gained the ability to wield Inquietum through evil rituals. Similarly, the magic seal you mentioned is also created using the power of chaos. Spelling the highly concentrated chaotic energy will require the collective effort of many powerful, level-headed souls. What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. I understand now. So, relying solely on our own strength won't suffice. We must seek the aid of others. Powerful, level-headed souls? Who besides us would be willing to do something so ludicrous? The Exiles usually tend to keep to themselves, but there are two exceptions. Forbrit the Dwarf, and Gulal the Troll. They are exactly the kind of individuals we need. Hmm. As Isatarian said, we need companions with formidable strength and indomitable willpower. In spite of his quirks, Forbit the Dwarf was once the most renowned blacksmith in Northern Adenthia. If we are to overcome the Unstill, we need his strength and skill. Gulal is a troll hailing from the ancient snow-laden mount of Sylvania. They once considered him their mightiest channeler. If we're to push on, we need his magic and his ability to commune with the other world. As far as I know, Forbred often hangs around the graveyard at the Faithless Ruins, whereas Gulal is accustomed to staying inside at the Harkening Circle. Alright, this is of utmost urgency. We need to find both of them quickly. It seems you've already got a handle on what needs to be done. If there's anyone capable of changing all this now, I think it must be you, newcomer. Perhaps I'm wrong, or even delusional, but I'm sensing the child of chaos aura emanating from you. Perhaps this is the crucial breakthrough we've been after. Go now, rebels. I shall be watching you march to the finale. Hey, hey! You! Can you lend a hand? For those things on the ground. They'll hinder our movements. Yeah! 
bother trying to hide. Goodness, that was a big help. You don't look familiar. Are you new here? I was just in the middle of a little excavation. Ho oh, ho, look, a charred sword here. Isn't this a starlight stone? I wonder what kind of sentimental fellow buried it here. Did you know, rookie? Well, this place was probably a graveyard thousands of years ago. Beings in the Chaos Universum have no way to perish. So, the Exiles buried their important objects here to serve as a memorial. That means this graveyard is a great big treasure trove. All kinds of higgledy-piggledy bits and bobs can be found here. Uh, uh, just don't... Tell anybody. Now, oh, now, calm down. You're talking about those tremors, yes? And even Hexandra and Otira were present. So, a thing called the Child of Chaos has really awoken. Hmm? What's that? Is something wrong with my ears? Did you just say? You're going to stop the Child of Chaos. That single soul entity that dared to challenge the Dragon Queen, killed countless dragon entities, and nearly destroyed the world? That one! <laughs> Do you know? Do you have even the slightest idea how long I have awaited this day? He really is a lunatic. Can you blame me? Day in, day out, loitering around, just waiting to become a bewildered. Who wants such a life? If there truly comes such a day when I can return to the material plane, I'm afraid that's my only chance. Anywho, before that, I need a favor from you. Now, I'm just being honest. This has been my hope for years. I've been marooned here for all these years, collecting so much treasure. But there's just one thing I've never been able to get. You see this graveyard? Learn folks back in the day called this the Faithless Ruins. And this land originally had a master. Listen, listen closely. Do you hear the sound of her sleeping? As you can see, the true master of this ruin has been sleeping there for centuries. The malign yet magnificent Black Dragon. And even if this place is full of rare and amusing items, it pales in comparison to a genuine dragon scale. To obtain her dragon scales requires immense courage and a deft pair of hands. Exactly! This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity! How many folks can say they've rubbed shoulders with a real dragon? Consider it a compulsory audition before you face the child of chaos. If you can't even handle a dragon, how could you possibly face the child of chaos? How about it, rookie? Will you grant me this one wee wish? 
I promise, if you help me get my hands on those scales, I'll head out with you right away. <laughs> I knew I could count on you! As you can see, the Black Dragon slumbers at the graveyard's edge. Get in close, reach out, snatch the scales, and that's it! Just mind you don't rouse her! <laughs> Obviously, I don't need to tell you that, eh? Hello, you're asking me? <laughs> Don't be fooled by my appearance. Back in the day, I was the most gifted blacksmith in the Northland of Adenthia. Even human emperors sought my craftsmanship for his armor. Well, but you know, when someone reaches a certain level of success, they'll always desire more. I forged armor for generals and emperors that could withstand any weapon, but it still wasn't enough. I... And clearly, stuff of the material plane could no longer satisfy me. You can probably already guess what happened next. Oh my, enough of this! Don't forget the dragon scales! The Dragon Scales! I'm tired of the same old is all that you believe. The black dragon before you is slumbering, silently as though oblivious to everything around it. Precious beauties are said to do wonders in armor forging. <laughs> Just wait till I get back to the Northlands with this butte. I'll give those mediocre dwarves a run for their money. So you seriously believe that we can make it back? To Absolutely. Why fight if death's a foregone conclusion? <laughs> a positive attitude. Perhaps that's exactly what we need. All right. I'm a member of your team now. I'm coming with you. Oh, oh by the way, you've done me a tremendous Boy, favor. Go to so I must give you a little something in return. Here, take this. Hey, now. I already told you that I'm a blacksmith, no? Here, place this in your camp. We can make some quality pieces with this. That's the one we're after. But something about him doesn't seem right. It's over. It's all over. The 
is over. Everything is lost now. There is no point in anything. Help! No. Everything is pointless now. The Harkening Altar has been ruined. Everything I've waited for, everything I've wanted, they're all lost now. Besides which, the Child of Chaos has now awakened. None of us can escape now. That's it. It's all over. So you know all about it? About the Unstill and the Child of Chaos? I can hear the voices. The voices of the Bewildered and the Unstill. The voices within the plane. Ah, uh, this must be the newcomer. Your voice is not intact. I can hear it. Something has stripped a part away from you. Did you spy on the Harkening Altar behind me? It is the sole link between the Chaos Universum and the World of Order. This is why I wait here each and every day. There is someone very important to me. I want to hear her voice just one last time. No matter what. But now, thanks to that blow it just took, the Harkening Altar has ceased functioning. Try. Do you mean to say you want to try reactivating the Harkening Altar? No, that's impossible. It holds potent plane near magic that is far beyond the realms of any being's control. Still, if you want to try, I'll not stop you. Just be sure not to expect too much. It's over. It's all you place over. your hand atop the Harkening Altar. What? You actually did it? No! Watch out! Something just fell from the Harkening Altar. Hold on a moment. Is that... a dice? That seems to be... the legendary dice that summons souls. Amazing. 
absolutely incredible. Oh no, sadly not. Nevertheless, you've given me hope, newcomer. I still have no idea how you do it, but you're obviously imbued with a peculiar, special power of sorts. And if I stick with you, there may come a day you'll summon the one I have awaited to be by my side. I will accompany you and join your fight, newcomer. Then, to thank you so again for voices. all that you've done for me, Yet, I feel a welcome I gift is in order. This is the Otherworld Horn, the most indispensable treasure I have ever owned as a channeler. It can summon much needed aid from other planes. While its power is not comparable to evocation dice, it possesses its own special power. And now, it is clearly of far greater use in your hands than in mine. Please, take it. Great. Our team is complete. It's time to shatter the Unstill Seal. Can't you guess? You go Wait. She's... She's that dragon from earlier! You ignorant fool! I was in hibernation, restoring myself. Did you see the child of chaos? That shameless traitor, despicable scum, deformed monstrosity, the very cause of my current misfortune. Oh. Looks like you really detest that guy. We're about to go fight him, too. Good. Very good. Seeing as you are also his adversary, I am willing to overlook any disrespect you have shown. You are free to proceed. I will not hinder you. And if you truly require it, I may even lend you a hand. Count your blessings that she didn't just decide to eat us alive. Also... If a real dragon is willing to assist us, our odds of victory will increase significantly. 
After all, Lalwanis the Black Dragon is a descendant of the Dragon Queen. So the Dragon Queen is her mother? Then why was she cast out to this cesspit with the rest of us? Well, no one knows why. Perhaps we'll get another chance to ask her. But right now, we've got other things to do. Ooh. Mm -hmm.